This abstract is on Bulgarian freedom champion Januarius Aloysius Gayan. If you enjoy this video, be sure to click like. Also subscribe so that you receive updates whenever new abstracts are released. And we'd love it if you'd share this on your favorite social media platform. Living in America, it can be easy to take your freedom for granted, especially those of us that have never had to fight for our freedom. Some people aren't born with this luxury. Some people are born into a world where all they know is oppression. And many of those people are forced to fight back just for a taste of the freedoms that we are so lucky to have. It's not a life any of us would ever choose to have, but one man did. In the mid 1800s, Bulgaria had been seized and was under strict Turkish control. Many of the people were enslaved, tortured and executed. For the entertainment of those in power, and to keep the citizens of Bulgaria from revolting, a biannual competition was held. The winner of this competition was given a medal, enough money for safe passage out of the country and the title of Bulgarian Freedom Champion. They were a champion to the people of Bulgaria and a symbol of hope that one day they too could be free. Around this time in the town of New Lexington, Ohio, a man named Januarius McGann was making headlines. McGann was a skilled athlete and had not only won but was setting records in many of the events he competed in. But that wasn't enough for McGahan. He had recently heard of the events taking place in Bulgaria and nothing was going to stop him from entering that competition. In the fall of 1867, Januarius had not only snuck his way into Bulgaria but it found his way into the freedom competition as well. It was an Olympic style event composed of seven challenges with 50 competitors from around Bulgaria. McGahan would place first in six of the seven events, winning him the title and his freedom. However, being the competitor he was, McGahan never left Bulgaria. He spent the next six months training until the spring of 1868 when he managed to sneak his way in amongst the competitors of another freedom championship under the name Februarius Magafit. This time Januarius, now Februarius, would win all seven events, a feat that had never been achieved before. He would once again be given the title Bulgarian Freedom Champion and would be freed from Bulgaria. Januarius would finally return home to New Lexington, where he would live until his death in 1878 at the young age of 33. Though his passing was thought to be due to an illness, it is now believed that he may have been killed by Turkish spies who poisoned him upon the discovery of his infiltration into the Bulgarian Freedom Championships. Though he was a hero to some, Many saw Januarius McGahan as a selfish man who stole the chance of freedom away from not just one, but two Bulgarian citizens. Whether you see him as a hero or a villain, there's no denying that he died three times more free than any man or woman ever has.